Why do you say physics needs a paradigm shift? Physics is in desperate need of a paradigm shift. And the paradigm shift occurs when a existing theory that's being adhered to fails to work, fails to deliver results. It's happened dozens of times over the last 3,000 years. We had run our course with relativity as the guiding star. We know we've gotten very poor results from all of our research dollars for the last 100 years. And it's time to recognize that we need to, as painful as it is, go through another paradigm shift. We need a new guiding light to dear our researchers that can go in places they've never gone before. In your opinion, what got us there? Was that a paradigm shift that occurred 80, 90, 100 years ago? Yes, it was a, it was a shift from Newtonian physics to Einsteinian physics, replaced Newtonian physics. It's been built on for the last 120 years, added to, amended. But the core of the theory is, is maintained relevance for all that period of time, regardless of what we've discovered. So, you know, the paradigm shift is a necessity in the physics world when you've reached sort of the end of the road of the existing paradigm. And that's great. You said when you've reached the end of the road of an existing paradigm, what needs to occur for the realization, the efforts to well, when these, when are we going to wake up and feel like acknowledge we've hit the end of the road? So there, there, there are two stimuli that drive a paradigm shift. One is a discovery that is basically used obsolete prior par paradigm. And that happened in 1650 when they, they saw the planets doing weird things. They had a discovery. But the other is a, a, a better theory comes out that answers all of the scientific observations, but does it better than the prior one. And that's when Newtonian physics transitioned to the Einsteinian physics, Einstein's theory was better. What we need today is a new theory, using all that we've learned in the last 100 years, to come in and allow the physicist to say, hey, that makes more sense. Let's follow that theory. Let's redirect our research dollars. Let's redirect our education dollars. And it's time for that. Join the conversation at beyondeinstein.org.